So I'm going to answer the question today, voltage drop and LED strip lights, what does it mean and how does it affect your LED strip lights? So basically in short, the LED strip lights usually have a maximum length of around 5 meters. That can vary depending on how many LEDs per meter, whether it is 12 or 24 volts and the type of LED strip that there is. For example, we do have certain 24 volt strips that can go up to 20 meters in one run, but I'd say 95 percent of LED strips out on the market, the maximum run can vary between about five and seven meters. So before voltage drop occurs. So voltage drop basically means that the end of the LED strips after the five meters or seven meters, there will be light loss. So the lights will not be an acceptable even light between the start of the LED strip and the end of the LED strip. So usually within a five meter length of LED strip, the, the brightness between the start where the LED strip is powered and the end where there is no LED strip power cable is an even acceptable light. So if you're putting the strips up together, whether it be powered at one end and the five meter run and then a start of another strip powered at one end, they would look even. If you go longer than what the manufacturer recommends for the maximum length, then the light will be less bright and it will be an unacceptable light. So the lights will still work. If you go too long, for example, if the strip is supposed to be in a five meter length maximum and you wire this into a 10 meter length power from one end, there will be a resistance of heat built up at the start of the strip and the end of the 10 meter strip could be 50% less bright than at the start. So always check with your manufacturer the maximum length that your strip can be. So voltage drop will affect the strip by being less bright than at the start of the reel at an unacceptable level. So be sure to comment, please, uh, please subscribe, any questions fire away. Thank you for watching.